have the highest rates of disease now that we've seen in a very long time, and I think it's because people are confused about some of the health information. They're not sure what they should do, what they should avoid, what activities to engage in, and I want to help demystify that for people. I'm Dr. Lisa Fitzpatrick with Promoting Practical Health. In my experience, the most effective way to engage people around health issues is face-to-face. -face. We're amidst the flu epidemic, so today we want to just talk to a few people on the street to find out what people actually know about the flu. I had the flu last month, yeah, How'd you get for a week. It? How'd I get it? I don't know, but it just it knocked me down hard. How does the flu spread? Oh, I know how it spread. Um, it spread because people are germ ridden and they don't wash their hands and they sneeze and they touch things and then they breathe on you. Sneezing without covering their mouth. Not, not yes. cooking food properly. The salmonella. <laughs> well that's do do we think about these devices as maybe portals of Well I'm not worried about my device because it's been in my hand but I'm worried about the metro where I grabbed a hold of the rail, you see? And then put it on the device. And then put it on the device and then so there we go, yes. huh? Drinking other people's drinks. Drinking other people's drinks, okay. Handle doors. Handles on doors, okay. Not washing your hands. Not washing your hands. So that was my next question. How do you prevent yourself from getting the flu? I try not to get it. I had a one really bad and I have to always get the flu shot. I get it every time in September. Now have you guys had a flu vaccine? Yes, I I've had a flu vaccine. I think I had one like a year ago. Get the flu shot, yeah. yeah. You both had the flu I shot? I didn't. I, I never so, have, I have, but uh, she does, but I don't. <laughs> that time I take the flu shot, I get the flu. I flu shot? No. Okay. And I uh, don't want one. I see everyone pushing it, and they keep pushing it, and everyone keeps pushing it. I'm sick of uh, corporate America pushing stuff on me. Yeah, so you think flu's, flu shots are, is that for all shots or just flu shots? Uh, I'd say most all shots. I'm not an old man. I mean, I'm not a young man, but I think a flu shot for me is not really practical. It might be in the future. So how do you treat it then? <laughs> I would drink plenty right? of fluids, take ibuprofen, get a lot of rest, yeah. and wait it out. Hot toddy. Oh! <laughs> and what's in a hot toddy? <laughs> Some tea and honey and whiskey. Mm. <laughs> nice. Okay. So Are there really home remedies for the flu? Well, I think you really just have to wait it out, unfortunately. Okay. So then let me ask, how do you treat the flu? That I'm not sure. And so do you know how to treat the flu? No? I've so never you, had it. Have you ever had a cold? Yeah, I've had a cold. Okay, well how do you know it wasn't the flu? What's the difference? Okay, the flu makes you more tired, mm -hmm. unlike the cold. And drowsy. Drowsy? The flu makes you drowsy? Yes. It makes you ache, so right? Say ache. Fatigue, yes, yes, yes. Fatigue. Okay. Can the you? Flu lasts, <coughs> the flu lasts longer than the cold, doesn't it? <coughs> Yeah. Okay. And what if I gave you antibiotics? Would that help? It would. Think so? Yeah, okay. steroid. Well, I do that occasionally, you know. I do amoxicillin if you're not, you know, I, I, I'll, I'll do that occasionally too if I start to feel a sore throat or something, you know. Yeah. Is that okay? But you, your body can get immune to that, can't it? That's true, but antibiotics don't treat the flu because the flu is a virus. That's there right. you go. That's see, right. I yeah. knew that. So that's the kind of stuff I walked right into that one, didn't I? Yeah. yeah. See, yeah, I walked no, right yeah. into that one. Yeah. That's, okay. that's quite all right. We're not trying to wow. trick you. You're not tricking me. Okay. We're just I'm with trying you. to learn from each other. But how do you think we can get the message out to them? Uh, the way you're talking to me now. Each right. one teach one and oh. spread the news. All right. Many people know that flu is spread on devices like doorknobs and cell phones and even on our hands and that the most common symptoms of flu are fever, cough, and muscle aches. But remember, flu is preventable and you can help prevent the spread of the flu. Get the vaccine, cover your cough and your sneeze every time, and please wash your hands. I'm Dr. Lisa and I'll see you on the streets.